Well, we have about 1,500 kids that are designated as homeless under the McKinney-Vento Act. Um, the McKinney-Vento Act has lots of different, different definitions of what would qualify as being a homeless student. But in our review of the number of kids that we have, it's, like I said, 1,500 kids. Um, many of the kids are roofless. It just, the number has gone up and down by 100 or 200 and then up again. I think the, the largest amount that we ever had was 1,900 within last school year. But for me, the most important thing is to be able to get to our kids um, and, and focus on helping them be prepared to come in and, and be educated. That's our job. Um, but we can't hope that things are going to get better. With that type of number, uh, some action has to take place. I know kids are motel hoppers, and I know that they're, you know, not doing homework because they're helping mom collect recycling to make money for dinner or they're holding, you know, the baby so mom can collect recycling or whatever, that it's unrealistic sometimes for me to say, oh, I need, you know, a 500 word essay back tomorrow. Well, to tell you, I mean, we, we're expecting kids to perform at a very high level. Um, however, when you visit some of these conditions, there's nowhere to do homework. Um, there's nowhere where the families have to... Um, make their own food if they're living in such motels. And if they're living in cars, there's absolutely no way that we could expect them to come home, do homework, rest and relax, and then come back the next day. Uh, so some of the challenges are that they leave our school um, focused on instruction, but they then have to turn their mindset into survival.